Hey guys, I'm going to recreate one of Lana Del Rey's famous looks. I'm obsessed with Lana and her music, and I really love her vintage slash chic look. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start off by filling in my eyebrows with my brow shaping kit from Benefit. This will frame my face, and it's a very important step, so don't skip it. This is my favorite brow kit especially because it's gel based and powder based and it just makes your eyebrows look so natural so I really recommend you go out and buy one. What I'm doing here is I'm applying the gel part of the kit on my eyebrow. After I'm done shaping my eyebrows with the gel I will use the powder to set in the gel and make my eyebrows look beautiful, thick and natural. Now I have moved on to the other eyebrow. I will do the same thing as I did with my first eyebrow. I'm going to apply the gel first and then the powder. Now you will want to grab a q-tip and you will want to go around your eyebrow to remove any smudges. You want to make your eyebrows look clean and amazing. Next you will want to use your favorite pressed powder. I'm using Mark sold at Avon. You will want to apply the powder using a thin brush around your eyebrows. This will make your eyebrows look even cleaner and sharp. Now I am applying my eyeshadow. I am using an ombre color palette in shades of violet. I got this from Avon. I'm first applying the darker shade around my crease of my eyelid. Make sure to blend your shadow in really well. You don't want to get any harsh lines. Now I'm working on my other eye. I want to continue working in and blending in the eyeshadow very well. I really want to avoid those harsh lines. They don't look good on anyone. Now I will apply the lighter shade of violet on my eyelid. Rather than blending in the eyeshadow, I'm lightly brushing my makeup brush from side to side so the lighter eyeshadow can be more visible and it will give it that ombre look. Remember, if you guys want to know more about the beauty products I used in my video, go ahead and look at the description box. I'll have everything listed there. Now I will use my liquid eyeliner to enhance my eyes and give it a more dramatic look. I'm using a waterproof liquid eyeliner. Liquid eyeliners are perfect because you can really have control and create a perfect cat eye.
Using liquid eyeliner makes it harder to mess up. You can really work with it. I love liquid eyeliner. If it is your first time using liquid eyeliner, I suggest you keep on practicing. Practice makes perfect and you will love using liquid eyeliner after the third try. This is my favorite part. To make your eyes look bigger, or if you just didn't get enough sleep the night before, simply line your waterline using a white eyeliner pencil. It works wonders and makes your eyes really pop. Here I'm using a black eyeliner to line the bottom of my eye. This technique creates an even more dramatic look. I will then use a Q-tip to help blend in my eyeliner. I was using my eyeliner to fix any imperfections, but now I will use one of my must-have beauty products, mascara! Mascara makes a huge difference in whatever look you're going for. It's very important. Now I'm going to use a beauty tool that is a must-have in any girl's makeup drawer. An eyelash curler. Curling your eyelashes really tops off your look and makes your eyes pop out and really gives you a feminine vibe. Here I'm just using a Q-tip to remove any excess mascara. It's time for my other favorite beauty product, blush. In order to apply my blush correctly, I will want to make a kissy face so that ap my apples of my cheeks come out from hiding. The apples of my cheeks is where I will want to apply my blush. I chose a shade of light pink for my blush. Finally, the last part of this tutorial. Yay! Lipstick time! I chose the CoverGirl lipstick in a light peach color. After I apply the lipstick, I will use the tissue to remove excess lipstick.
Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.